What's up, B-Game? Before we do anything or get into this video, I like to talk about these beautiful flowers I got from Rose Forever, man. They are just so beautiful. They smell so good and they last a very, very long time. You have plenty of varieties you can pick from, but I chose these because... I honestly got these because it's my mama's birthday and we all know a oh, key to any woman's heart, whether it's your girl, your sneaky link, your mama, your granny, your auntie, every woman, they love them some flowers and my mom's favorite color is red. So I was like, let me go ahead and get my dudes these beautiful flowers since she loves flowers and her favorite color is red. Why not get these as one of her gifts for her birthday? So today is my dude's birthday. So... We finna deliver these to my deuce and I absolutely think she's gonna love these man because these are just some beautiful flowers. I love that I pick these this circular one. Like they got literally all types. They got square, they got a heart. But I chose these because I just like these. But y'all make sure y'all go check out Rose Forever and use the code B20 to get 20% off your any purchase of any of the flowers you choose to want. But make sure y'all go tap in, man, because I'm telling you, roses is always the key to any woman's heart, man. But hey, let's get into the video now. Yeah, my blame, 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 blame. Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing. Yeah, I pull that lane, 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 lane. I'm yeah. I'm double cut, I'm hooked. Molly got me geeked up. Big B and not the little one and I am back again with another banger so welcome or welcome back to the channel man as y'all can see from the title I am about to give y'all another amazing story time because y'all always say y'all love when I drop these story times man because y'all know I get straight to it and I keep it real of how, how, how everything legit went down and a lot of y'all been asking for this story time because I have not told y'all my coming out story and what YouTuber don't tell y'all they coming out story so I like well fuck it I look good I'm feeling good why not tell y'all my coming out story because my coming out story is kind of different in a way but it ain't but it is but it ain't but it is but hey before we do anything before we get into any of the video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications on so y'all know every time I drop a banger and make sure y'all go tap into Rose Forever and use my code B20 to get 20% off and let's get into right, it. Guys. So my coming out story is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? Um I'ma start I'ma start off how everything led to me coming out and a little bit after how I came uh, a little bit after how it went after I had came out. So boom, check it. Um, I realized I was gay a very long time. You know what I'm saying? And um back in the day, excuse me, back in the day, being gay wasn't really like a a hot thing or anything you could walk around and be proud of. So I just used to hide it. But I did, but I didn't. Like in public, I was not gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't nobody know I was gay. You know what I'm saying? But at home. Oh, baby, I was gay. So it's like, to the public, I was feminine. You know, not feminine, like wearing dresses and shit like that. I really wouldn't, that really wasn't my type of speed. But I was feminine to the world in public. But at home, I would like put on my tomboy's clothes on. I would bust my sag. I would walk around like I'm a nigga. Or, you know, just doing the little basic things you do at that age if you start coming out. And so... My mom started peeping stuff because I would get on the phone with girls and like we all y'all all can tell that I don't have a feminine voice, but I also don't have a masculine voice at all either. So it was like my voice was way more feminine back then. So I would like get on the phone with women, with females and just like deepen my voice. You know what I'm saying? Like I would literally deepen my voice. And so... She would, you know, stay at your mama's house, you know, mama be hearing shit. So she would hear me, like, talk like a dude to females. And so she'd like, be what you doing? And you know, I just used to always be like, mom, I'm playing on the phone. That's how we play on the phone. Like, you know, when she used to hear me talk like 
a little a little boy on the phone i would just like kind of lie to her and be like i'm just playing that's how we talk on the phone like the person on the phone doing the same thing i just made up any type of excuse but as it kept going on and on and on and she realized every time i got on the phone i would like leave i would like go outside or some shit like that and so that was number one and so number two like i told y'all at home i dressed it like a boy but i didn't dress i only dressed like a boy in my room you know what i'm saying like all my siblings were are older than me so it was i was basically raised as the only child so i stayed in my room a lot you know what i'm saying so i would be in my room in my own little imagination and i would be just dressing as a boy but y'all i know mamas they'll call y'all for anything they'll call y'all to come get her the remote when the remote just on the table while she on the couch she would come and tell you to go just you know how mama's in there just call you for no reason it like really don't be wanting them but just want you to do something you know what i'm saying and so my mama saw that i was just always in my room so she would purposely like call me to tell me to come do something just to get me out my room so it was like she would see how i look like say i had on like some booty shorts and like a tank top like them little skinny what them little spaghetti tank tops i wore those a lot as a as a feminine girl so she would see me with like them and some shorts or some pajama pants something slight but every time she used to call me i used to have i used to take forever because i would be in my room just like a boy but i don't want my mama to see it so it was just like it was just like you know i had to hurry up and change so this when it started getting a little twisted for my mama so like now i'm like okay i'm liking this shit at this point i want to i want to be comfortable with doing this so it's just like i started inviting girls over you know what i'm saying as my mom she wasn't a strict mom but she would like just rather people come to my house than i go to her house and shit like that or we'll go to their house so i used to always invite women over but listen it don't it used to be like i'll oh, say I, it's friday we out of school or whatever so Friday, as soon as we get out of school, some girl coming over. And she'll stay about three, four hours and she'll leave. And so it's like, you know, when company come over, of course you gotta go out there with your mama, you know, you know, as having manners, you gotta introduce your mom, like, hey, this woo woo and woo woo, this my mama type shit. So them so them little times them little times where she would see me like come out there and um get the girl she would see that i look a little masculine you know what i'm saying i got I busted me a little sad i done snuck and took some of my brother boxes i used to always steal my brother used to always stay with new boxes so i would open up his new pack of boxes and and um wear them and then he would have like some clothes that i could fit i would take majority of his shirts like i would open up his new boxes because he just had shit at my mama house you know what i'm saying so any new boxes, I'm opening them and I'm taking them. I used to take them and I'll probably wash them same ones and wear them until he get like another new pack. And you know what I'm saying? I just always just steal big bro shit. And so boom, I go in there, I take his little fitty cat pads. Like I come out to the girls getting them looking like a whole boy. Like I have my brother hat on. I have his new drawers on and I have like, you know, some clothes. I still have my clothes on if I didn't have his shirt, but I had like little tomboy's clothes that'll look good as a stem. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm a stem. So she would see me come out the, out the room looking like a little boy. And they would leave like three, four hours and boom, another female. Like, listen, it's the same day. Like, it's a Friday. I kid y'all not. I used to have like three, four girls come over every Friday and Saturday, sometimes Sunday. And they wouldn't stay long. We'll be cooped up in that room. Cause I had this when I was when I was coming out, my room had a bathroom in it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a big room with a bathroom in it in a walk-in closet. So we just in that room chilling. I'm not gonna tell y'all what we did, but y'all know how big big get down. So that should be ex explanatory itself. Like that should explain itself what was going down. A, a female will pull up at the crib, they'll stay about three, four hours and they dipping, and the next female they coming. And so my mama just she just sitting on the couch. It became a point in time. She just like, hey. Like, my mama, she a Leo. So, it's just like, when they don't know something, 
is going to show that they curious and they upset that they don't know nothing. So it was just like a, hey, you know, at that point, she's like just saying, hey. So I started feeling like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I'm going out of public looking like a boy, but still, I still have not told my mama I'm gay. So boom, I meet this girl. She like, I'm a good 15, 16. I meet this girl. She like 27. She got her own crib and she got her own car. You know what I'm saying? So, um... We started kicking it till she came to the back. She came to my high school basketball games. I still have yet to introduce her to my mom because it's just like, okay, I fuck with you now. Fuck these little girls I'm fucking with. You got your own grill. You got your own cotton. You got money. Oh, bitch, I'm finna tap in with you. So, she, we started getting serious. So, she, you know, uh, my mama didn't have no Facebook. So, I'm uploading shit on Facebook. You know how, you know, looking all a little masculine. She used to, um, I, she used to buy me stuff like, you know, I'm like, man, y'all want to be, a, you know, I want to be a stud. So she, she, she bought me my first strap. And then so like, it was up since then. Like I got my strap at like, I got my first strap at like 15. So it was up since then. So she bought me my own strap. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm still doing my thing on the back end. Cause I'm, I'm coming out and I'm comfortable and I'm, I'm getting females, but she was the main one. Remember her. So she, I'm getting so happy at this time. Me and my pops, we was cool. So shit, I pull up on my pops like, like, look, daddy, I got a, I got a bitch in the car. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got me a little female in the car. She driving, so I pull up on pops like, hey, daddy, this my girl. My daddy happy than a motherfucker. He like, good man, I ain't gotta worry about beating no nigga ass type shit. So pops was cool. So okay, I'm going too fast. By me posting stuff on Facebook, my big sister was actually the first one to find out. You know what I'm saying? I never really just came out to people. I just was doing me and people caught on. So my sister was the first one to, to find out. So I'm like, yeah, big sis, I'm gay. Why my blah, 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 But don't tell nobody. I didn't want her telling nobody. So me, the first person I actually like, just comfortably told was my dad. I'm like, yeah, daddy, I'm gay. Blah, blah, blah. With whoop. He was all right with it. He was like, good. I ain't got to worry about beating no nigga ass. So boom. <laughs> Remember, my mom was a Leo. And so, like, my auntie, my auntie snitching ass, man. My auntie had snitched on me, bro. I ain't know my auntie had made her a Facebook, but she wasn't my friend. And she was watching my page and shit, bro. And I had posted my little shouty. And my mama, um, you know, I had, my auntie, she's an investigator, bro. Like, my auntie had posted my little shawty and she would comment and, you know, my shawty had commented. So she went to her page. She realized she was grown. She had her job. She just knew that I was 15 and you out of school and you got your own career, your own car, blah, 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 And so she, she told my mama, man. And so by her telling my mama, my mama bust up on me like, I don't know when it, something had happened. I think I realized my mama had knew. You know what I'm saying? My mama got to acting funny. So I realized she had knew. And I was like, mama, okay, I guess I can tell you I'm gay. So I told my mama I'm gay. And it was just like, baby, I already knew that. And I'm like, I think that's why I ain't tell you. Because it's like, I know you know me. I mean, I then I had took it back to like, yeah, when I mean, you saw that all the girls was coming in and out. But she had took it as far as like, baby, I knew you was gay because... You used to change your voice when you used to talk to women. And I've never seen you talk to a guy. I'm like, yeah. But she was mainly upset that she had to find out from other people. And then my big mouth ass, I fucked around and told her that my daddy had found out first. Like, I had told my daddy first. And so, it was just a whole big mess. And she was upset with me. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't upset the fact that I was gay. I think she didn't like the fact that I was gay and trying to be a stud at 15. So, boom. And then when she found out that I was not, not just 15 dealing with females, I was 15 dealing with a grown-ass woman. Man. So, so goddamn. I used to be like, my mom finna go to my friend house. You know what I'm saying? I had this one particular friend that my mama had trusted. So, I was like, my mom finna go to my friend house. Meanwhile, I'm telling my shorty to park up the street. And got down, and got down, um, like, 
if my mama was to come outside and watch me get into the car, she really couldn't see who car or what kind of car it was. So, boom. But I fucked up. Because when I had seen Shawty, Shawty had somebody in the car. So, we out there just talking and shit. So, my mama had saw the car. And y'all know I told y'all my auntie had did her investigation. So, when she had saw Shawty's car, she put two and two together. My mama is not stupid. She put two and two together. And so she had call, she was calling me and calling me and calling me and calling me, man. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not answering the phone. And so her and my auntie, they got together. They I, I don't know, somehow they got together, y'all. They got together in oh no, I'm lying. I had told my mama. I didn't tell my mama who house I was going over, but I told her I always have to let my mama know what's up because as a mama, I didn't want my mama worry. I had told her the goddamn apartment names, y'all. I told my mama what the apartment names we was in, but I just knew she didn't know who car it was or who house to go over. So I was in the clear. Long as mama, you can say I'm out here in these apartments, I'll come outside. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna know what apartment I'm in, what building I'm in. Long as you know what apartments I'm in, we was good. So that's what happened, bro. I fucked around before I left and told my mama, cause I kept going to the same person house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, mama, I'm just at these apartments. I fucked around and told my mama what the apartment was, and by her knowing who girl car was. She came and found me, y'all. Her and my auntie, they came and fucking found me. She was like, I'm outside. Like, she had found the apartments. Well, she knew what the apartments was. But when she saw the car out in one of the buildings, she knew I had to be in this building. Because she was calling my phone like, I know you with that bitch. I know you with that 27-year-old, that grown-ass bitch. What a 27-year-old doing with a 15? Like, she going off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, so I'm not answering. I ain't doing none of that. And my mama, she she, she like the cap a lot. I, I call her cap a lot sometimes. She used to cap. She like, I'm gonna pull up. I'm calling the cops. You gonna bring your ass out? Like, she going bonkers, y'all. So I'm like, mama, you ain't finna call no goddamn cops on me. Y'all, was I wrong? Was I fucking wrong? I don't know what happened. Oh, man. Yeah. When they found out the building, the building wasn't even enough for them, y'all. They wanted to know the exact fucking door. So my auntie, somebody, I, some niggas out there knew my auntie. And so they was like, you know who car is here? They was like, yeah, that woot the woot car. And so they was like, yeah, she's staying woot the woot. Y'all, next thing you know, we here. Dun, 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 dun. It's my mama at the door. She said, B, is this your mama? I said, no, nah, that can't be my mama. I walk into the living room. All I hear is my mama going off from the inside. Like, I hear it through the inside of the door. She's going off, bro. Like, she going off. I'm not coming outside. I'm not saying a motherfucking word. I said, bro, just act like we ain't hear something. I'm telling her to say something. My stupid ass. I'm 15. I don't really know how to do this shit. Lights was on. So, I'm like, turn the fucking lights off. So that's how they knew somebody was in that motherfucking building because somebody was in that house because we done fucked around and I told Shaw to fuck, fuck, I fucked around and told Shaw to cut the fucking lights off. Meanwhile, the lights was on. My mama ain't stupid. Y'all, she wasn't lying when she said she gonna call 12. She definitely called 12. <laughs> 12 pulled up at that motherfucking crib so fast. But she called 12. She didn't tell. She was just like, she didn't tell the cop that I was dealing with a girl older than me. My mama ain't like that. She was just basically saying I ran away from home. And this is where I'm at. I'm just trying to get her to go home. So, you know, the cops involved. I ain't even do too much hot shit. At this time, I ain't really on my hot shit just yet. I'm just 15 trying to live life. So, she, when I seen the, when I started seeing the lights and shit outside, I'm like, okay, this shit real. Let me just go on outside. Blue, boom, boom. But the cop got to the door before I, I was packing my shit up. So the cop got to the door and, um, yeah, my mama got my ass up out of there, but I got to tell my mama, like, I, I'm a real ass person. Like I told you, I keep it real. I'm not finna lie to my mama. I said, mama, I fuck with shawty. Well, I ain't say it like that, but basically I'm like, I fuck with shawty. Mama, like, you just can't, I'm cool like that. Like, she ain't the only old girl I've been with. She the oldest, but at this moment, I'm 15. She the oldest, of course. And so I just like, you got to meet her. 
And so when my mama realized that I was stubborn, I wasn't going to stop fucking with her. They eventually meet it and it was all right. But long ass, oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. I skipped a whole lot of parts. What made her so hot and made me made her want her to come get me at first was because I'm 15. I'm a freshman. And she kept picking me up from school. Like, I'd be like, just come get me from the bus stop. My mama had found that because the school would be like, the school, I didn't know the school was calling my mama and telling her I skipped school. I think she did it like twice. When I realized that they was calling my mama, that's what made her flip out. Like, this bitch don't give a fuck about me. You in high school. You still in school. She wasn't skipping school, blah, blah, blah. You know how mama's is. And so when she apologized, I was like, I was like, when she apologized to my mom about her picking me up from school and she said she wasn't going to do that shit no more, she didn't. She listened to my mama, but I think that's what fucked up. Like, bitch, we was fun. We, were, we, were, we was on a mission. But I still was fucking with her. My mama let me go over her house sometimes, but of course I'm 15. I had a curfew or whatever. And, you know, but that was just my coming out story. Like, and I just thought I'd add that little twist in it because it all happened, like, it was like it's the day the day I told my mama I was I was you know probably about that next day that's when me and girl got involved and I'm like I want to add a little spice to the story but that was pretty much my coming out story my mama was alright my mama already fucking knew and it was, she just upset the fact that I didn't tell her first and I'm living her living in her house and she seen she seen what was going on y'all so it was just like mama cool still cool to this day but I ain't gonna cap though my mama used to piss me off because it was like. She would not let me go to that men's session, y'all. Like, I kid you not, my mama did not let me go to that men's session. I swear, I think I had to be, like, 17 before we would, like, go shopping together. And um, she would know, She when we go, we used to go shopping together, she would go directly to the girl's section and be like, B, you like this? B? Mama, you know damn well, I'm out now, baby. I'm a whole nigga. I don't like that. And so it was just like, you know. Mama cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Mama cool with it now. But I just got to tell y'all another story time about drop in the comments. Because I got a lot of gay. I got a lot of gay fucking stories, bro. Drop it down in the comments if y'all want to know why and how my mama started knowing girls by their cars. Like my mama didn't know a lot of girls names. But she knew females by their car. And if y'all just want that story time about how all that shit happened and, and, and what went down with all that, drop it down in the comments, man. But, hey, that's the crazy story time of my coming out story, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed that shit. If y'all did, y'all know to give this video a thumbs up. And turn on post notifications on and make sure y'all tell somebody, tell somebody to come kick it with Big B. I'm out. Yeah, I'm fucking right now. These niggas be mad at me, I'ma flex right now Brother boy, me got a Glock for it, got it up right now These niggas ain't worried about it, ain't worried right now Wait, 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 wait Check out my blame, 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 blame Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing Yeah, I pour that lane, 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 yeah I'm double cut, stop hug Miley got me geeked up